The Great Dane, the winningest player ever on the World Poker Tour, Gus Hansen. He lets his chips do the talk. No, he doesn't trash talk, but he plays trash hands and he makes them win. It's amazing. Let's talk about the bad boy of poker. In the realm of professional poker, numerous figures have risen to fame and become household names. However, there are always a few individuals who possess immense talent and skill, but fail to attain that same level of recognition. One such enigmatic figure is Gus Hansen whose poker prowess and unique playing style captivated the poker world, but never seemed to go much further. Gus Hansen, 61st place, $154,000. Great showing for Gus, but still no World Series breakthrough. And yet despite not achieving widespread fame, Hansen's remarkable achievements on the felt cannot and should not be overlooked. But before we keep going, I want to welcome you to Poker Boom. We release new videos every single Sunday, so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be kept up to date on all our latest releases. And look who's gonna get in our game now. <laughs> Maybe the most wide open player in the world, Gus Hansen. Born on February 13th, 1974 in Copenhagen, Denmark, Gustav Gus Hansen showed early signs of competitiveness and a strong analytical mind. Growing up, he excelled in math and other strategic games like chess even going on to become a world-class backgammon player and tennis champion. And these skills would prove crucial in his later pursuits in the world of poker. Hansen's introduction to poker came during his college years at the University of California, Santa Cruz. He started playing poker in the underground card rooms of Santa Cruz, honing his skills and gradually improving his game. He quickly recognized that poker was not merely a game of chance, but a complex blend of strategy, of psychology, and skill. And this realization ignited his passion for the game, and he embarked on a journey to become a professional poker player. Gus Hansen's playing style was distinct, it was unpredictable. It earned him the moniker, the Great Dane, given that he was great, and obviously from Denmark. He was known for his loose, aggressive approach. That's what you get for putting your money in bad. <laughs> often playing a wide range of hands and applying relentless pressure on his opponents. This style allowed him to accumulate chips rapidly, but also exposed him to significant risks. One of Hansen's most memorable performances took place during the 2007 Aussie Millions main event. The event drew 747 entrants, thanks in large part to online qualifiers. But when the final table was reached, none ended up being from Australia. Hansen ended up going heads up against American Jimmy Frick after an extensive battle which consisted of 47 hands of heads up play. Hansen ultimately defeated the online qualifier to collect the largest first place prize to date in Australia. And that's it! Gus Hansen is the 2007 Aussie Millions Champion! 1.5 million dollars. This experience also led to him penning his book, Every Hand Revealed, where he reviewed the hands he played on the way to winning this particular poker championship. Hansen's list of accolades are extensive and include him becoming the first player to win three World Poker Tour Open tournaments. He also won the first WPT Bad Boys of Poker Invitational event against fellow bad boys Phil the Unabomber Lack, Antonio the Magician Esfandiari, Paul the Truth Darden, and David Devilfish Elliott. 2004, he was inducted into the World Poker Tour Walk of Fame, along with poker legend Doyle Brunson. And yet, despite his exceptional skills and remarkable results, Gus Hansen did not attain the same level of fame as many of his contemporaries. There are several factors that contributed to this phenomenon. First, his playing style. Good call. I know I can sell half to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Although exciting and unconventional, it often led to volatile swings and inconsistent results. His aggressive nature occasionally caused him to suffer significant losses, making it difficult for the public to perceive him as a consistent winner and someone to truly get behind. Meanwhile, the one-time chip leader is running out of chips. Not the hand I wanted to see. Second, his media presence and his marketing efforts were not as prominent as those of other players. While other poker stars actively sought endorsement deals and embraced the limelight, Hansen remained more reserved and focused primarily on the game itself. This lack of self-promotion and media exposure definitely contributed to his lower profile in the poker world. 
In contrast to Gus Hansen's relative obscurity, other players such as Phil Hellmuth, Doyle Brunson, and Daniel Negrano, many of whom we've already showcased on the channel, so go check out those videos, the link is in the description, achieved unprecedented fame and became household names. These players possess strong personalities. Son, I would tell you this much, son, I would never have put more 3,000 with two tens. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say good game, sorry for the suck out, but exceptional charisma, and actively engaged with the media. Their continuous involvement in high-profile tournaments, TV appearances, and poker-related ventures propelled their fame beyond the realm of poker. You don't have to cheer for me, cheer for the girls, come on! <laughs> Although not a mainstream poker star, Gus Hansen remains an accomplished and highly successful poker player. He's amassed over $11 million in live tournament earnings, and is considered one of the most innovative and creative minds in the game. His focus has shifted in recent years, and he's explored other avenues beyond traditional poker tournaments. He's written books on poker strategy, sharing his unique insights and experiences with fellow enthusiasts. He's also been known to take private bets on various personal athletic challenges other than poker and professional sports, such as a boxing match against WSOPE bracelet winner Theo Jorgensen. In addition to his poker and gambling endeavors, Hansen has invested in various projects and has explored opportunities including dabbling in the music business, of which he says he's not been very successful. His entrepreneurial spirit and ability to adapt to different environments demonstrate his versatility and determination to succeed beyond the confines of the poker table. But let's get one thing straight. It is essential to acknowledge the respect Hansen commands among his peers in the poker community. Even Daniel Negreanu recently tweeted that Gus Hansen is the player he's most surprised did not become more of a household name. While he may not have the same level of mainstream recognition, his skills and his accomplishments are highly regarded by those who understand the intricacies of the game. His legacy lies in his contributions to the evolution of poker strategy and his impact on the way the game is played today. Gus Hansen's journey to becoming a renowned poker professional is a testament to his exceptional talent and determination. His unique playing style, characterized by his aggressive and unpredictable nature, set him apart from other players. And while this approach brought him both triumphs and setbacks, it showcased his fearlessness and his willingness to take calculated risks. And in the end, his accomplishments as a poker player cannot and should not be overlooked. As he continues to navigate his career, it's evident that he remains a force to be reckoned with in the world of poker. Whether he chooses to pursue new business opportunities or return to the tournament circuit, his legacy will always be one of a highly skilled and successful player who made significant contributions to the game. And while not a mainstream star, Gus Hansen's impact on poker is undeniable, cementing his status as a true legend of the felt. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching the entire video. Which other players should have become bigger stars? I'd love to discuss and debate with you in the comments, so I hope to see you there. And thanks for checking out Poker Boom.